in this recording i am going to talk about how to check out code from the stock trg app that is set up as a google code project uh, this is the actual project page in code.google.com uh, and the actual project can be checked out using this command now obviously we will try to use it uh, we'll try to do the checkout using the svn plugin that we just installed now this also indicates that I'm checking it out with my email address. I have added authorization for the team, so you should be able to go out and see uh, how best you can check this out using your email address. Uh, you will have to check the password piece because it is not your Google password. It's more like uh, Google code itself gives you a password. Okay, let's start off with the essentials. I'm going to take this guy which is the trunk. This is the basic URL. The stock TRG app is the module name. So I'm going to take this copy, get to my Eclipse environment, and then do a right click, team, share project, SVN, next, type the URL, next, and then use project name as folder name. Here, we actually have to use the specified folder name and when you do a select it's going to say pending and then it's going to ask you some question basically it's trying to authenticate you and let's see what it pops up with it's going it's pop it's popping up with your username and your password now the username in my case is uma mags and in your case will be whatever it is before you add gmail.com the password you will have to get back to your source checkout page which is this guy and then generated google.com password so in my case it's generated this and i'm going to simply going to copy and paste that come back here paste the password and then say save password hit ok and then it's trying to do something i can see that It took a while, but it finally popped up with stock app. And then once again, this is probably going to take a while. So I'm just going to select stock app and say OK. And it says specified username stock app slash stock app. Click on next and then click on finish. When it's done, it show, throws up a page like this. Uh, the synchronized views associated with the team synchronizing perspective, etc. Say yes. What it basically does is uh, it, it compares what you have with what is in the repository. So it shows you the stuff that's in the repository and we will go through this later. Let's just simply close this perspective for the time being. And then when you see team, right the share has gone and it has been replaced by a huge amount of information so at this point you can do a team update to head and what it does is basically compare what is in the repository to what is with you know, what is in your local instance and it basically updates everything that is in your uh, workspace uh, later on, we'll go through the exact pieces of how this update works and how commit works and stuff like that. 